What up guys, it's Doug. Um, I'm back with some more questions. Somebody actually asked me something. Um, I try to do the questions as people ask me on Facebook, sometimes on Facebook check this or that because they don't want to put it publicly on Facebook. So they just ask me like, um, and I give them like a really simple question or answer, but uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, how to make something, right? Somebody said, hey, can you show me how to make eggs? because I always fuck him up. So it's like, all right, that's, he didn't say nothing, a scramble, nothing, he didn't reply back, I guess he was busy, I just didn't see the message. That's why I did that, the how to make eggs, perfect eggs. Uh, I did wanna show you this, I bought this at Target, I think it was like 15 bucks. I didn't realize it had little lemon wedges, but it's pretty cool, it has like an on off button. It's really small. I like it, it actually works. So, whatever. I was using uh, my wife's $100 one. That's like all professional and shit, but she was like, I want it back. You got to buy your own. And it's like, sorry, motherfucker. But somebody did ask me. They asked, I'm trying to remember how they stated, where did it? They said, Doug, do you, oh, you're a, a chef or cook. Um, what are some of your favorite foods or what is your favorite food? One or the other. First of all, I'm a motherfucking chef, motherfucker. There's a difference between a chef and a cook. A cook is just you. It's anybody. It's you can be a cook. Anybody can be a fucking cook. The chef is somebody that was given that title. Now, I've been executive chef of a restaurant, of a real restaurant. Not like downstairs in my, in my kitchen or anything like that. It was a real restaurant. It, it went under, not because of me, but it eventually went under. Um, I actually left before i don't know who they got they got somebody else but i quit because it's just a bunch of bullshit and stuff like that but i was made executive chef which means head chef which means you're a chef right so you cannot be a chef until you are made a chef right you work your way up and you become chef whether it be sous chef sous chef is like little boss executive chef is big boss he's the one in charge of everything Right. He runs the whole fucking kitchen, but he lets his little bosses, his sous chefs, uh, run it for the most part because just the way everything else is run, the boss doesn't really do much, he appoints other people, it's just the way it runs, right? Under that, it's like line cooks and then like prep cooks and soup, soup guy and some other stuff, right? Um, a, a sauce guy, a saucier. So anyway, so that's, that's how it works. So I am a chef, right? I was not given, I did not give myself the title, so therefore I am a chef. Now, what do I like to eat? They asked because they thought that I, sometimes I do post pictures of like fancy things that I make and stuff like that, but not really too fancy. But um, I actually, I like to eat very bland things and it's not surprising a lot of chefs, when they go home, it, it's like 50-50. You're either, you like going home and making food all the time, or I know a guy like that, he's like a sous chef. I don't really know him, but I know of him. Like he works at the guy's hospital. He goes home and he'll make like food for his wife and kids and shit like that. Right. If I was still working as a chef, I would not want to do anything after work and I never did really like we were just I pick up chicken fried chicken from churches or something like that but I like very very bland foods so either you like bland foods and you're a chef or you like or you're the opposite it's one or the other right this believe it or not is like one of my favorite things to eat it's simple steamed white rice with a hard boiled egg right I don't put anything on it except for maybe salt and I like, I like eating it. A lot of times I like eating it with my hands or with chopsticks, but it's one of my favorite things to eat. I don't know why. It's just, I like the, I love hard boiled eggs and steamed rice. Like I like it bland like that. I don't know why. Um, that's one thing. I actually made this rice last night and I forgot about it cause I fell asleep. I was so tired. So that's one thing. One of my favorite things, uh, not to say it is my favorite thing of all time food wise. I do like homemade stuff, like burgers. I like homemade burgers. I like to make them myself, right? Because you can put whatever you want to make it taste different. Like, 
you can actually chop up onions, throw them in there, and then you have like an onion burger. Um, you can throw in like chili and have like a hot chili burger, right? When you you make the patty yourself. Um, I'll probably do that one day. I'll make a how-to burger. It's very simple. I actually have a bunch of ground beef and ground chuck. I use ground chuck. I would suggest you use ground chuck um, because ground beef has like a little too much fat for me it just doesn't work like it kind of tends to fall apart and I don't really like to use fillers like um, oatmeal or breadcrumbs and stuff like that or egg I don't it's I have the meat and I put whatever seasoning I have on it and that's it that's all you to me it's like the less you do to me the better it's just the way I've always done it and it works for certain things like pork chops uh, steak some things it doesn't work for, like really cheap, cheap steak that you have to marinate for a long time. So, message. Like steak, take steak for example. You don't do anything to it. You just keep it out so it turns... I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh shit, okay. You keep steak out so it gets to room temperature. Once it gets to room temperature, you salt and pepper. That's it, dog. No, a little bit of olive oil. Like, get some olive oil on your two fingers, index and middle, right? And then just, like, dab it. That's it. And then salt and pepper. Fresh ground salt and pepper, sea salt, kosher salt, whatever. Don't use that shit, that cheap shit from the fucking store. Get sea salt or, or kosher salt, right? Get fresh ground peppers. Like, they have those little fucking plastic ones. You just fucking grind it. Get that, right? If you really want, maybe get some garlic, crush it, and then rub it on first, right? Get the oil, then rub on the garlic, right? Because some of the oils are going to come out, and then you'll have a slight taste, like flavor of garlic, but not a lot. Salt, pepper, both sides, that's it. You cook it, depending on how thick it is. I'd say it's a, an inch thick. Fuck, four minutes on each side. I don't know. Like, however you want. Once you perfect it, according to your st stove, right, your stove top, then you figure it out, and then you'll know, like, okay, it's this thick. It's going to be about four minutes each side. That's it. Four minutes, four minutes, it's out. That's usually what I do. If it doesn't cook all the way through, like the way I want it, perfect, well, no, medium rare. If it's too rare, I'll put it back on. If it's overcooked, you can't do nothing about it. Three to four minutes, then check it. Let it rest when it comes off for about 10 minutes, then check it. Peace, guys.